Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy November. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 19-box King James Basketball Mixer featuring a $2,500 box. That's the 2008-2009 Topps Basketball uh, box. Whew. That's pretty nice. A lot of other great boxes in here as well. Big thanks to everybody who got into the action right here. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And congrats again to the people who won spots in the uh, the fillers that we did. And there are all the uh, teams right there. Let's go. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Six and a five, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. After eleven, we've got Sean Maddock down to James Barley. Six and a five, eleven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. Good luck. Portland down to Dallas. All right, Sean with the Trailblazers, David B. with the Knicks, Mike with the Grizz, Danny with the Heat, Brian with the Magic, Parker with the Bucks, Diane with the Kings, Parker with the Rockets, Michael with the Pistons, Tom with the Pacers, Bill with the Nuggets and the Golden State Warriors, Brian with the Wizards, Nathan with the Bulls, David B. with the Nets, Brian with the Celtics, Michael with the Hawks and the Cavs, Parker with the Spurs, Brian with the Thunder, Zachary with the T-Wolves, Parker with the Suns, Bennett with the Clippers, Jehun with the Last Spot Mojo, Utah Jazz. Josh with the Pelicans, Parker with my Lakers, Matt with the Sixers and Raptors, George with the Hornets, and James B. with the Dallas Mavs. Let's sort alphabetically by team, and I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, uh, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. So that list remains the same. Thanks, everybody, for uh, being a part of the action. I appreciate it. So now let's see what we can pop out of this 19-box monster mixer here. So got a lot of boxes here. So I'm going to start with maybe some of the base heavier stuff. Let's get this one out of the way. is uh, Donner. So we'll kind of jump around between all the different years. Now you can see this box right here. That's the LeBron box right there. That's going to be pretty fun. We'll do that towards the end. So we're going to get the base heavier stuff going first and then we'll start working towards the, uh, the memorabilia and the LeBron box we'll do at the end. And maybe we'll find a LeBron. If not, hey, at least we tried, but but that's going to be a pretty fun box to do. And um, wow, all cards ship in this mixer as well. A lot of basketball action happening today. So we'll go through some scores in a sec. David saying, any news on Zion? Rumors say he's over 300 pounds after foot surgery. That's the same, same as what I've heard too in the last week or so. Any discounts for the Chiefs sucking Gilo? No, they won. The W's are all that matters. They're not sucking at all. A win's a win. I'm 
fact, we might charge more for the Chiefs. Another win in the books. It's not a win without Mahomes throwing sidearm touchdowns. See, this, this is how spoiled Chiefs fans have become in just a short amount of time. You don't get extra points for style, Chilo. Sure, there are a lot of bad teams in the NFL. Fans of a lot of bad teams who are like, yeah, I would love for my team to suck with Patrick Mahomes and Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey. I'd love to suck with that team. <laughs> There's Anthony Edwards, the rookies. And we got a Jersey Kings, Ben Simmons. What's going to happen with him? So that's some of the bigger question marks here. Zion, when's he going to come back? Yeah, the rumors are saying... Well, I don't know if anyone's. I don't. I don't know if anyone's actually put him on a scale, though. That's the thing. I think people are saying, are kind of looking with their eyes. They're saying, "Oh yeah, I know, I know." I think it was like a scout or a former teammate or coach or something like that who was like, "I know what Zion looks like at 280 or whatever," and right now he is not at that. He's over. So then everyone has automatically thought, "Oh, he's." He's over 300 pounds. So, not sure what's going on there. I mean, could he play big? I suppose he could play big. But it's definitely something that the that the uh, Pelicans are worried about. There's Jamon Green to 10. One out of 10 for the Warriors. That's going to go to Bill. And there's our first LaMelo Ball rated rookie card. That's going to be for Charlotte. That's going to be for George Cobb. George got randomized. Got He won that spot in a filler and got randomized the Hornets in this 19 boxer. That's pretty nice. And you'll get all the other cards as well. All cards ship in this. So just in the interest of time, I'm kind of breezing, his, uh, breezing my way through this break. Got to move a little bit more quickly. Otherwise, it'll take much longer than it's already going to take. There should be some great stuff in here, though. So good news is all card shit. There's Jordan and Wara autograph. Rated rookie auto for the Bucks. Parker with Milwaukee. Look at all those Giannis's, too. Yeah, that's the uh, he's Dion's eating his way to play defensive tackle. Gilo saying, "Good." All right, that was a bunch of Donnerus stuff here.
through another. Let's go with uh, some Chronicles packs. These are where those Chronicles value packs come from. And you have, whenever you see us do these for like fillers. Nineteen, Gilo. If you look at the schedule, you'll note that it says nineteen box King James basketball mixer. And there's a lot. We've got the sounds of uh, Thunder at Clippers on the background. Seventy six, seventy two. Thunder are leading here in LA. Yeah, it's Morant and R J Barrett may be all stars this year. I think they could be. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. That's what we wanna that's what we wanna see. R.J. Barrett right there. That's for the Knicks. That's going to go to David B. Yeah, I would love to see R.J. Barrett really start, start to evolve. He had a nice game today. There's a score, Zion. See, there, there's recon R.J. Barrett. See, in Chronicles, Recon is just a standard card size. I like that they made the card a little bit thicker in the uh, official Recon release. The good news, though, is that Zion is still young. All right, there's rookie Zion for the Pelicans. So all of those are going to go to Josh, who won that spot, got randomized the Pels. He's young, you know, so he's he's got a lot of room to, to learn and grow and uh, a lot of time to maybe shed some LBSs. Now, from what I remember, yes, Gilo, I agree. I think Chronicles, at least bas especially the basketball version, I don't think gets as much love as it should. I think this acts as almost, the Prism cards in Chronicles almost act as an update card. So that's also pretty interesting. A lot of John Morant's here, too. That's going to go to Memphis. That'll be for Mike. Trivia, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure he missed that dunk. What a great what a great shot though. Would love to see Kobe White start stepping things up now that. Now that they, uh, the, the Bulls are without Patrick Williams. Poor Patrick Williams. Now remember, we are we are pretty booked for the night. This break's probably going to take us pretty close to the end of the uh, end of our evening, around eleven o'clock Pacific. There's a lot of boxes here. 
we might have some time. I mean, if you're going to be up late, we can check back in a little bit later because we might have a little time at the end uh, to squeeze in a quick break or two. I don't think we're going to have time for for any of like the prism mixer or the optic or anything like that. But we've got some time for a quick pack or two if we want to get something going. So in the meantime, if you just want to see something else or if you want to try to buy into something else, you can visit us on Instagram Live, at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram. IG Live, at Jaspies Breaks. Jason Jaspi is there right now, uh, ripping open some packs. I think there's hit drafts there, other fun stuff. So we sell stuff by the box, by the pack, so on and so forth. Yeah, I love that luminance design for basketball. I think when people come into the shop and they're like, hey, I've got X amount of dollars and is there a, but I'm not sure, I can't decide between all the different sets and whatnot. I just tell them, hey, why not go with, uh, why not go with this pack of Chronicles? Get a pack or two. You know, you'll find you'll find the names like John Morant pretty often. This is the bronze parallel for the Grizzlies. That'll be for Mike. And you know, you can probably you can probably uh, get some of this stuff graded, or or even just sell it raw and still still get a pretty decent return back. All right, next. Staying in the same Zion, John Morant year, this time Mosaic. Yeah, Chronicles is a little is a little uh, can be a little more confusing when you first take a look at it. It's like a sampler platter. Yeah, I think there was there was some RJ Barrett in that stack there. All cards will ship. You'll get all of those. So Thunder up 83-77 on the Clippers. Both teams only have one win. So they're looking, one team at the end of this is going to have their second win. Cavs improved to 4-4 four and four with a win over the Hornets. 113-110. to 110. I think Cavs have a sneaky good team as well. Pacers beat the Spurs 131-118. to 118. Pacers dropped 43 points in the first quarter. Sixers, without Joel Embiid, beat the uh, Trailblazers 113 to 103. Hawks beat the Wizards 118 to 111. This is a great win for the Bulls. Bulls beat the Celtics 128 to 114. The Celtics, well, the Bulls. Came back from 19 points down to beat the Celtics on the road. The Bulls scored 39 points in the fourth quarter and held the Celtics to 11 points. It's a nice win for them. It's good for the hobby. Steve, you're feeling lucky. Nice. That's good. Are you in, are you in this break? What, what makes you say that? Buy lottery ticket. Yeah, Cole Anthony is playing great. Going in on that optic, nice. We'll be we'll do that. Uh, we'll be doing that tomorrow, Steve. But join in now.
Yeah, I like that. I like that Cole Anthony is playing great too. That just all that. I just I just want all of the youngsters to play well because uh, it's hashtag good for the hobby. If it sells out tonight, do we get entered into the bounty promo? Um, I don't know. What does the description say? Jordan Clarkson, 5 out of 15. Nice little number there. I like that parallel. That will go to Jae-hoon and the Jazz. I don't know, Steve. What does the description say? What does the details in the promo say? I don't remember. There's an NBA debut RJ Barrett. Let's find, a, let's find like a silver RJ Barrett in here. John Moran. But wait, there's more. Pink camo parallels. I think these look really sharp. Chris, if you look at the schedule, you can see that I'm booked up for the night. That's why the schedule is there. We're trying to decide if uh, I've not heard an update from uh, from Steve yet, but we're trying to see if what the Monday Night Football promo description says, if we have to break the break or if just a break has to fill before the allotted time for uh, for it to be eligible for the promo Now we're back to the Lamello class here.
no word, no word from Steve. Anyone else want to take a look at that Monday Night Football promo description and see, uh, put your lawyer hats on and give me your opinion? I would, but I'm in the middle of 19 box mixer. Can't slow down. Keep a nice steady pace going. There's a silver James Weissman. Nice. Well, I don't know. What do you think, Steve? Do you think that should be part of the promo or not? What? Are, what do you? How? How would you interpret the uh, the Monday Night Football promo? Golden State Warriors, by the way, that's for Bill. Yes, if the brakes sell out, then we are entered. All right. There you go. I think there's a time limit to that, too. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, per the description, it doesn't necessarily have to break by that time period just sell out by that time period. LaMelo Ball, Prism, that is for George and the Hornets. All right, red, white, and blues. I really love the red, white, and blue parallels that are out of here. Really hate the packaging though. Doesn't rip as cleanly as I want it to. I think the Clippers just tied it up. No, they're yeah, they did tie it up. 91-91 with a minute 35 left in the game. Who was that? Was that Luke Kennard? Maybe? Alright, red, white, and blue. No Anthony Edwards, no LaMelo Ball, but those will all ship. In fact, every card will ship, all cards ship in that break. Any breaks that below that break tonight get entered. They have to sell out by 1045 tonight to be entered. Perfect. So I interpret that, Danny, as even if we can't break the break tonight, Right, because we're kind of backed up on time. Even if we can't break the break tonight, as long as it still sells out by 1045 Pacific, those names will still get entered when I do the randomizer at the end of the night. That's how I interpret it.
What is this? Oh, this is 1819 hoops. Um, this is... This, oh, this is that guy's ear. Luca's ear. David's asking, if the Clippers have a bad season, does OKC have their draft? I actually don't know. There are so many. I have to look at... Uh, what, what's that website? Like, Is it like hoopsgm.com or something like that? There's a great site that keeps track of all of the draft picks and trades and protections and all that sort of stuff that I usually use throughout the NBA season to keep track of. Got a Devin Reed, rookie remembrance for the Suns. That's going to go to Parker. <laughs> That's correct, Danny. It's free money. You're not going to get too picky. I appreciate that. You'd be surprised at how many people do. <laughs> They'll, 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 they'll send us very curt emails about, well, what about, and how about, but I thought, but the early bird said, come on, no Lucas? All right, no Lucas in there. Or, or Trey Young, for that matter. And, like, we're, 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 we're replying pretty politely, but in my head, I'm just like, come on, we're, just, we're giving away money. I mean, I don't know. I get it, though, I guess. All right, Crown Royale, uh, maybe we'll save that. What about Hoops? Hoops premium stock? And what about Vintage, Onyx Vintage Basketball? Wait, this might break the quicker than I thought. What, what is in here? Reggie Jackson just hit a buzzer beater. About 95-92. Alright, what do we got here? What is this? Jared Vanderbilt? Not sure what these are all about. But we've got a Sandro uh, Mamu Kala Shali Mamu Kela Shavili. See, I just have to just have to slow it down a little bit. Um, we'll look up where he goes. <laughs> There's Alan Flanagan and Trey Murphy the third. I've never heard of any of these guys. I'm glad I got this out of the way. And we didn't hold it too late. The only guy I knew was Jared Vanderbilt. Those up, I guess. They'll end up somewhere. All right. Um, what about what year is this? That's the. Are, do we, are we all on current year stuff? How about this? This looks a little bit older. This is 1920. All right. Let's do this. I mean, there has to be a chase in that onyx. Yeah, those were pretty cool. Um, the Supreme Hard Court breaks, like the piece of the basketball court that Upper Deck did. I guess they just ran out of pieces of the basketball court. Do you, do you remember where they were from, Gilo? They were from when the when Charlotte went from the Bobcats back to the Hornets. They sold pieces of, I guess they bought pieces of the floor. I f I'd like to think they were just sitting in Michael Jordan's shed in the back. 
And then he was just like, and he was like, oh, I guess I could just give him to Upper Deck. Put my autograph in some of them. Some of them. There's a Zion right out of the gate. So it's Prism Zion for Josh and the Pelicans. Let's see if we can find some some color, some silver on here. There's a Reza for the Kings, who has yet to make his debut for the Lakers. And we've got a Ignis Bradzikas, 55 out of 56. <laughs> Press one for English. That reminds me, Danny, of uh, of the movie. Some of you may be familiar with the movie uh, Usual Suspects. Where who was it? Was it the Benicio del Toro character? Who, who intentionally talks like really fast and they're like, ah, give me the keys. <laughs> and during the lineup sequence and the cops are just like, in English, please. Ah, it wasn't English. <laughs> F you guys. All right, let's go to Chronicles current edition. This is the 2021 draft class. The draft class after LaMelo's class. Usual suspects. If you like a good heist movie, if you like a good heist movie, that's that's a good one. Especially if you've not seen it before. Maybe you're a little on the younger side. You haven't seen Usual Suspects. Pretty great. I think it holds up, right? From the from the nineties. I think if you if it's not been spoiled for you by I mean and it might have at this point. But if it has not been spoiled for you. There's rookie memorabilia Isaiah Jackson, and I think uh, it's pretty enjoyable. What's going on here? What are the top loaders I need here. And a Davion Mitchell jersey and autograph. Gold standard design, 49 out of 99. Um, that's got to be Kings, I think. Diane with the Kings. We'll have, all, we'll have our team look up all these, uh, all these college cards before they go out. They'll go to the right place. Corey Kispert, rookie relic to 199. We got Johnny Wang, 35 out of 199. Cunningham, of course, your number one overall pick. Pistons. Has he been... Has he been playing? He played... Did he play yesterday? No. Is Cunningham injured? I 
guess a few days ago he was removed from the injury report, but looks like he hasn't made his debut. No, he has played. I didn't. I just didn't see him on the box score. I actually don't see him on the box score. Maybe he played, didn't play the Nets game. He played the night before. Oh yeah, there he is on the. Yeah, he didn't play against the Nets, but he play, had 19 minutes against the uh, the Magic. That's to 149, Isaiah Jackson. Evan Mobley in his USC gear to 199. I don't know if in this draft class, if the Miami Heat have anyone significant. But I think in previous draft classes, you're, guys like Tyler Hero is what you're looking at. There's Jalen Tate to 99. There's Joel, 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 Ayayi. I think he was on the Lakers for like half a second, but might have been, might have been on their practice squad now or something like that. I think he's French. And rated rookie autograph, Eugene Omurui. Differently, no. Franz Wagner to 149. And Davion Mitchell to 49. Alright, so I'm going to keep these in a different section in my. Uh, over there, and we're going to make sure that we look up all those guys and make sure they go to the right professional teams. They're going to be an all-college section along with these two guys. We'll figure out where these guys should end up. You know, Walt, I was going to say no, but I think this mixer is going a little bit faster than I thought. So if that filler, if that optic basketball filler fills tonight, I'll do that break. So fill up the filler, Walt. Help us with that, and I'll do it. Just, I mean, just do it. Just buy it and force me to do it. Just, just make me do it. I thought this was going to take a little bit longer than I thought, but it is not. I don't think it's going to take longer. I think I'm going to be way ahead of schedule. And we got an Andrew Wiggins relic for Sensational Relic for the Warriors. That'll be for Bill. I'm not going to do the 20 box football mixer, though. But the six box optic, I, I think that's like, it's like a 20, 30, 25. I can probably get it to like a 25 minute break.
That's still two fillers away. Hey, I'll tell you what though, Gilo. If you buy, if you're the one that buys out that last football mixer filler, or the one that's there now and the one after that, f it, I'll do it. So try me, Gilo. Go for it. Ooh, look at that. From Hoops Basketball Premium Stock pops a premium hit. That's Jerry West. Look how young he looks there. Lakers. Parker with the Lakers. All right, what about going back in the past to 2012-13, Timeless Treasures? These Kobe packs, of course, will go to the Lakers. Some blasts from the past here. Um, in this case, remember, all Charlotte stuff will go to Charlotte. New Orleans stuff will go to New Orleans, regardless of the team name on there. Like Eric Gordon will go to New Orleans, 6 out of 10. And like that Austin Rivers, glass rookie. Look how young Austin Austin Rivers looks there. Two oh five out of four ninety nine. And there's Festus Azili. By the way, New Orleans, that is for Josh with the uh, with Nolens. And Festus Azili goes to uh, the Warriors. Bill, I think he was like the answer to the. Uh, I think he was the answer to. Supposed to be like their answer to like their their big man situation. And the expired redemption is Sean Elliott for the Spurs. Uh, why do I say one pack break? Because we have to do that one pack to give away the rest of the teams in Optic Basketball. He's got to be Spurs, right? Yeah, I'm going to send him. He's going to go to the Spurs. This is expired, but I think if you contact Panini, um, who has the Spurs, Parker, usually they're pretty nice about about getting you something back in return, probably usually points. Let's see. Let's see if I can get away with it. Sometimes these can be either numbered or autographed. These bonus packs from back in the day. All right, those will all go to the Lakers. That'll all be for you, Parker. R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. 2021 Crown Royale. We got two optic mega boxes and a blaster box. Got Jamal Murray. Ooh, is that an Obi Top and autograph? It might be. Denver, that's gotta be Bill. What's up, Vanessa? 
And the Obi Toppin is an autograph. Nice. Die cut auto. 18 out of 75. Nice. That'll be for David B. and the New York Knicks. Obi. Obi one Kenobi. Nice. He's having, uh, I think he's having a pretty good start. I think last year, a little hit or miss last year, but we can obviously see the talent that he has. But I think this year might be the year he starts to, starts to break out a little bit. All right, blaster box first. What's the order of the, any, maybe purple? Checkerboard is pretty rare here. I'm not sure what the exclusive is in here. All right, nice. And that Optic Basketball Pack is sold out, so we will do that break. Um, and that will be for reals the last break of the night. All right, so we've got a Lamello and a Devin Vassell. Have you been waiting nine months to get the points you requested? Sometimes you have to, you have to badger them a little bit. These my houses, are they short printed? Unless there's another one right here? No. Ooh. Public service announcement. If, uh, speaking of Crown Royale, if anyone has or knows of someone who has a Jordan Poole die cut rookie auto to 10, Danny's brother needs it for the, uh, for the rainbow. I always would love to help anybody on their quest to make the rainbow. Yeah, it sure did, Walt. The filler pack just sold out, so we're gonna run that filler pack, then we'll run the full six box break itself, and then we'll, uh, then we'll see what can pop out of there. Hopefully you got your spot. see what we got here good luck all card ships you'll be getting you'll be getting everything here all those inserts all the commons Let's see if we can find some bigger names here Nothing too crazy in this mega box. Oh, nice, Walt. Glad you've been hanging out the store. First time on YouTube. Yeah, it's a whole other uh, it's a whole other animal here. So a lot of times there are um, a lot of times uh, if a break maybe kind of slow down in momentum we will take out those teams and then um, we'll take out the teams 
and then we'll put them into another different break to give them away. We call them fillers. So it's a little complicated at first, but I think once you figure it out, it's uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to kind of get used to looking for all the different giveaway breaks to unlock some of the larger breaks. And I usually have a little schedule that's dropped in the chat that, uh, that we take a look at and try to keep track of all that information too. Yeah, I'm gonna do the optic before the giveaway. The optic, the giveaway will be the very, very, very last thing I do tonight. I'll readjust the schedule in the, uh, in the, in the schedule. Readjust the schedule in the schedule. Come on, Anthony Edwards, Lamelo, where are you? I mean, some decent rookies there, but we want the top guys. I guess it's Cole Anthony starting to make his way into into the next sort of category. What's, I don't know. If, I don't know if Cole Anthony's quite at the uh, Lamelo tier yet, but he's getting there. All right, let's. Uh, Let's get these. Let's get this done first, and then we're gonna close out with the. Uh, we're gonna close out with the LeBron box, or potentially the LeBron box. We hope. Who's got the Cavs in this? Michael Cho. So. So, of course, as always, we're going to go by our no checklist rules on stuff like this. So, it'll go to the team they play for the longest or the team that they are currently on if they're active. If they're inactive, if they're retired, they'll go to the team they play for the longest. Um, all right, first one out of the gate, you can share your hit with the good people at Hit Parade, is a sixer. That's Drew Holiday, 8x10. There's his autograph right there. There's the JSA sticker down there. Nice. So that will be that will be for Matt Lieber and the Sixers. Jade, any estimate on that first round of recon shipping? Yes, I have one for you. Just go to the break schedule that's pinned in the chat or frequently dropped in the chat. On the tab next to, um, or maybe one or two over from the main, from the first tab will be a shipping tab. And then you just go scroll down to the date that your break happened. And then you'll see the status of the break. So I won't, it's not even an estimate. You can have an exact step-by-step, -step, moment to moment of when, of what uh, stage your break is in. A very useful resource next to that uh, next to that schedule. All right, next thing, we usually play America's favorite game, Who Am I? I'm just gonna set this right here. You can still see this, right, right over there. But in the interest of time, we're not. Number fourteen. That's a hey. There's Tyler Hero. Nike jersey, too. Authentic jersey. Uh, Danny and the Heat. I'm not going to take this. I'm going to leave this nicely folded in here, but... But you should be able to see Hero in the background. There's all the official Nike retail tags and stuff like that. That's pretty awesome. And so you'll have all the official logos on there as well. I right, see the NBA logo right over there as well. That's pretty nice. There's the tag. There you go. That's pretty, that's pretty nice, you know. And without, with since Kendrick Nunn went to the Lakers, 
I feel like Tyler Hero has been getting a lot more minutes, a lot more tiempo to show off what he can do. There you go, Danny. Oh, you never got a jersey before? Oh, that's a treat then. Because it's an authentic jersey. Most of the time, uh, most in most of the jersey breaks that we do, they're not authentic. They're like custom jerseys. They're still nice, but the the authentic, officially licensed jerseys are usually a lot more expensive. So they're usually more of a, a short print, if you will, in these jersey breaks. It's only three things? Oh, right, because it's a three-piece. I get it. All right, this next one I think is nice because the, the names are on the box right here. I don't want to put my hands on the auto. There's the David Adams authenticity card here. Ooh, I think people can tell what these autos are. I mean, everyone can tell who that who that is, right? It's a dual auto basketball, Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul Jabbar. That's pretty awesome. I hope. Kareem played for the Lakers the longest, right? Oh, yeah, by far. He played 14 seasons with the Lakers, six seasons with Milwaukee. And Magic Johnson, obviously, I think he played his entire career with the Lakers. All the way from 1980, 79 to 80, all the way through 95, 96. Nice. So two Laker legends on one... Basketball, that is going to be for Parker, who won a spot in one of our fillers, got randomized the Lakers in the break, and ends up with that dual autograph basketball. I was going to say, hopefully it's not one happy person, one sad person situation. And you can see right there on the box, it's in there it says Kareem Magic. Nice, so let's... Let's pop this back into the pouch. Nice, congrats. I'm not sure if we're gonna send it in this box, but I'm just gonna leave that there to make it make it easy. All right, all right, all right. But wait, there's more. What about a shoe? Should we save the shoe to the end? Should we look for LeBron's first? Maybe we should get this out of the way first, just in case it's a letdown. So we save, we'll save the shoe for last. It's one relic or autograph per box, apparently. Some other hobby exclusives right there that we can get. Thank you. 
All right, so also, um, these boxes, by the way, went for, I think Nick wrote in the description, the last time this bo a box was sold, I think he saw it go for over $2,500. And apparently there's a, um, there's a LeBron chalk toss card in here somewhere. I mean, if we see it, it'll be pretty amazing. The 2008 draft class, because this is 2008, 2009, right? Yeah, 2008, 08, 09. The 2008 draft class, that's the one where Derrick Rose went number one overall. Then it was Michael Beasley, OJ Mayo, then Russell Westbrook for the Supersonics, which of course goes to um, the OKC Thunder. Kevin Love is in this class, Danilo Gallinari, Eric Gordon, Joe Alexander, DJ Augustine, Brooke Lopez. I think those are some of the... But yeah, the main guys are... Yeah, Rose, Westbrook, Love, Brook. I think Roy Hibbert is even on the here. He was an all-star at some point. DeAndre Jordan, Goran Dragic. So yeah, there, there's, there's some guys in there. Hey, there's a LeBron Choctaw card, speaking of, the devil. I really like the design from this year, too. I think they're just kind of bringing it back with the name and the circles. Cavs, that is um, Michael with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland, this is for you. Yeah, I remember all card ship. Oh, there's a Kobe with LeBron guarding him in this? Nice. Well, yeah, we'll look out for all of those. But all card ship, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, remember O.J. Mayo? He was out of USC. He was supposed to be, and he was drafted third overall. I think a lot of, well, the Maya, no, the, he was drafted by the Timberwolves and traded to Memphis. I think a lot of, a lot of people had high hopes for, for him. It didn't quite work out, though. We went from the Grizzlies for a little bit, and a Dallas Mavericks, and then with the Milwaukee Bucks for a few seasons. And I think he went to Europe and Asia. It looks like he went to Atleticos de San Germán, the Dasin Tigers, the Hunan Jinjian Mie, the Taipei Fubon Braves, the Liaoning Flying Leopards, and now he's with UNICS. I'm not sure what that is. Still playing? He is in a Russian basketball league. So you and ICS Kazan, part of the VTB United League, in uh, made up of mostly Russian clubs in some surrounding countries, in the first tier of Russian uh, professional club basketball. Wow. Base LeBron chalk toss went for 260. Well, there's two of them already. Well, there you go, Michael. He won the Cavs in this too. What's up, Rex? What's going on? Well, Michael, who uh, won that spot in a filler, I think that should probably cover your filler spots with those two. And I, I'm Oliver. I'm assuming that that once we start getting them graded, that like PSA nines, PSA tens can get can go for a lot. Yeah, Oliver, like get them graded. What, do you mind uh, if you have a second, Oliver? Do you mind looking up what a PSA nine or a PSA ten could go for? And of course, remember all card ships. So, so there's gonna be. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of cards that you want to take a look at and possibly grade. All 
Alright, and we'll close out with the shoe. I think the shoe is pretty awesome. So, let's close with that. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. Kind of hard to see the names with the foil right there. There's Lamar Odom. Jordan Farmar. Ah, the LeBron Kobe apparently worth more. So Oliver's saying that the PSA 10s for those LeBrons will go for 500. Wow. The NBA rookie class, Derrick Rose. I don't know what do these Derrick Rose rookies go for. Maybe, maybe some more now. Now that he's, now that he's, kind of back again. Oh, Andrew Bynum, what could have been? Nice photography here. Look at that, Tracy McGrady. I know, Rex. I agree. These the, these cards are not all stuck together. It's just like that. Chrome cards over time will really stick together, and then that makes it like another adds like another thirty minutes to a break, which is what is which is why I think I maybe overestimated the time on this. Or maybe I estimated just right. Maybe I'll spot on. Yeah, that's a great point, Danny. Yeah, for this, you don't have to wait. Um, you don't have to rush grade these cards you can just whenever the the cheapest grading service is available again at PSA or whatever or whatever slow boat you want to you want to use whatever slow service you want to use with these just kind of send them in and you just take your time there's a Kobe right there did I pass another one of these thank you I don't think I did Now, there was a Derek Fisher. There was an Anthony Parker. And I think this is the first Kobe that we've seen here. It's a nice one for the Lakers. It's going to be for Parker. And then I guess uh, there's Kobe and his dad. I guess that's a randomizer between Lakers and Clippers. The Duke, this is also not Kobe. This is Pau Gasol. No, he saw the Derek Fisher and he was just like, wait, what? Owen the game, Baron Davis relic. The, are the gold cards numbered?
There's Magic Johnson. Baron Davis goes to the Warriors. Bill, this Magic Johnson jersey goes to uh, Parker and the Lakers. Oh, this gold card is is number 2008. But I think the gold foils are not numbered. And I think I saw, so that's a gold foil, not numbered. And I think the other cards weren't gold. No, check that. There was another gold one that I saw right there. 2008, good eye. Cav, good eye. So Cavs and Magic. We we'll get those gold cards right there. Michael and uh, Brian. Forty-four out of ninety-nine. Ben Gordon. Another Derrick Rose. Were there more than these two? I don't think so. Usually you can tell from looking at it right there. I don't know. Our shipping team will send all of those, but those are the two that I saw. But if I miss any others, all card ship. Now, I haven't seen, I haven't seen, I haven't in past like a Westbrook, right? I know I've seen those Derrick Roses. I don't think I've missed any Westbrooks, have I? Super songs, but that's old Spencer Haywood right there. Yeah, I think um, Danny and everybody else, there are some, I think, funny videos on YouTube where people have done like like the, 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 uh, the sweat band, how it moves up over the years as he, as he kind of loses his hair a little bit. He's, he's immortal, <laughs> just like us. Another Tim Duncan gold. Oh, 
Would, be, would we be so lucky to see another another Kobe card here? There's Mike Conley to 2008. Antoine Jameson to 2008. Gallinari. I guess he's pretty good, right? All right, so there you go. Nice. That was a nice little, uh, nice little blast from the past. Remember, all card ships. So every single card you saw there, you will get, ladies and gentlemen. So you can reminisce about about simpler times. All right. And now, finally, the shoe. Wow, really? This is pretty cool. I think uh, the person who's, get to, who's gonna get this is gonna be pretty happy. Can anyone identify that auto? The JSA card in there as well. Danny. Has the Miami Heat. Oliver, you got it. He's got the Miami Heat. That's his first jersey. And it's Tyler Hero. And it's Tyler Hero's autograph. I guess wearing Paul George's Paul George shoes? Maybe maybe Tyler doesn't have his own shoe deal yet. But there you go. I don't think he signed twice. I think that's that's Tyler and that's Hero, the H. And I think that's that should be his number right there. That's pretty awesome, Danny. Am, am I correct in assuming this is this is your first autograph shoe? I mean, now you can package that up. I know either Danny has now become a Tyler Hero super collector now, or he can package this up and uh, and sell it to a Tyler Hero super collector. He's like, I got a shoe and a Nike jersey. Definitely a first. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. There you go, and you can see it'll say Tyler Hero on the box right there. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's the break. That was the Jaspies 19 box King James basketball mixer. We had the Tyler Hero shoes. The jersey from Hit Parade was also Tyler Hero. The basketball was the Magic Johnson Kareem Abdul Jabbar. And the photo was uh, Drew Holiday. And here's the recap right here. So thanks everybody for getting in. There was a there was a ton of um, of uh, numbered cards and parallels that are gonna that, that are gonna ship on the ship as well. So there's a lot of stuff and all card ship. So everything you saw in this break will happen. Will go to you. So give us a you know an extra day or two from when you normally remember it. You go from there. Who, is there a, was there a signature on the bottom? Oh, I think that's Paul George's signature, right, for his shoe. I guess Tyler Hero doesn't have a shoe, his own shoe, so he's he's wearing Paul George's shoes. Or I guess whoever put this together just gave him a shoe to sign, a Paul George shoe to sign. Pit parade? I don't know. But the autograph 
is uh, is indeed Tyler Hero. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazpeescasebreaks.com. Once again, that was Jaspie's 19 box King James basketball mixer. A lot of fun stuff here. Oh, actually, I forgot to randomize this. See, that's why I kind of do an, intro, an, an outro like that. So I kind of... Just kind of remember to do... Okay, so there's some dice. So on the left side was the Lakers, Kobe. On the right side was his dad, Clippers. San Diego Clippers. And let's roll it and randomize it. Team on top after four will get it. You want to know where the other shoe is? Probably in another box. There's probably... Uh, Another Tyler Hero autograph somewhere else. Two, three, or there's three, and there's four. And that's actually going to go to the Clippers. It's going to go to Dad. Pops winning the card here. So there you go. And now there you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.